Hello, right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tamba, and welcome to our Black Star Pan African Community uh, Public Meeting. And this is uh, titled Moving to Ghana and Acquiring Land Preparation Conference Call February 6th. Right? And uh, also, uh, we have over 200 plots of land for sale at Black Star Pan African Community. So the newsletter is what I'm going by. And uh, anyone that's on this call, anyone that's viewing this, you all have access to the newsletter. The quickest way to get access to the newsletter uh, is to go on our website, Africa for the African. Dot org, and once you go on our website, then you go to the menu of our website. Right, and on the main menu of our website, you get, it's going to say newsletters on Africa tourism and investment. Right. Uh, so once you click on that link, you're going to see a list of newsletters, and it's going to say Moving to Ghana and Acquiring Land Preparation Conference Call. Uh, so family, once you click on that link, that's when you're going to see the newsletter that we are looking at. And then we're going to scroll through the newsletter, and then we're just going to go through everything. So at first, when we look at newsletter, you're going to see uh, five men. On the left, you're going to see, uh, once you're looking at it to your left, you're going to see Kwabna, uh the consultant. You're going to see the surveyor. Then you're going to see myself, but money to organize the organizer. Then you're going to see the chief, Nana Haiti, as the person who is connected to the town, the land. And then you're going to see uh, Richard Lapo, uh, the attorney slash uh, barrister slash a uh, person that uh, we just asked for legal counsel on all legal matters on our investment. So this is a conference call, credentials, uh, once you open the newsletter. I always tell everybody, once you get an email like this, the best thing to do is just open it up and then read through the details. Uh, one of the most important things if you're going to deal with us as a business group, you're going to have to read information. Everything is organized so you can read and process all details. So once you scroll down, you're going to see our incorporation, Black Star Pan-African Community. And uh, LBG means limited by guarantee. Or if it was a U.S. company, it would be uh, LLC or, or a limited company. So those are all the same terminology, just different countries. And once you scroll down some more, it will say conference call topics. And the main thing before you get to the topics is going to talk, talk about the documents, the videos, the pictures, and... Uh, you're going to see these links below. So the first link is going to give you a link to our website. It's going to say africaforafricans.org forward slash black star repatriation and pan African community. So once you click on that link, it gives you all of the tour files on our website, all of the, I should say, investment files on our website for black star. And once you click on those links and go through them, you're going to have 100% clarity of what you're looking to get into or what you're viewing or reviewing or researching. Right. We, have a, we have a public Facebook page and a public YouTube page. So the Facebook page, when you click on it and go to photo galleries, you see all of the, the photo galleries from the four past tours that we've done and went to the land to visit it. Uh, you also see over 100 videos that's linked to Black Star Pan-African Community. And those are videos from conference called Us Visiting the Land, uh, Business Conference, and so on. So this is literally from September 2019 to now. So finally, when I'm talking about us having all the documentation and clarity, that's what we have as a people. I scroll down some more, you can see the site map of the uh, first 15 acres, uh, of the, uh, which is phase one, and then the 60 acres is phase two, which we're working on, a relative site map, which is show residential and commercials. Uh, so when you look at this list right here, we do have a few plots of land that are available. For so for those who are looking to build within one year, what I recommend is to reach out to me and talk to me and just let me know what you're looking to do. That way I can make arrangements to get you on one of the available plots. Uh, that way you can get all your paperwork organized and everything set up uh, within uh, two to three months. Uh, so those are the things that we have set up uh, since we've organized this deal. We spent the first year and a half 
to two years is making sure all the legal aspects of Black Star uh, Pan African communities organized. Uh, so um, as I scroll down somewhere, it's going to tell you that um, we're basically um, about an hour and a half from, for, from about two hours from uh, the capital city, Accra, and also from Cape Coast. And also telling you that there's 45 plots sold, and we have five remaining plots. So those are the plots that are available. And uh, once you reach out to me, I'll be able to give you a scope of all the plots that are available. And you just let me know what you're looking to do, and we'll organize a game plan. Just like Leonard and Carmen is on the property, which they traveled me in December of 2019. Now they're living there. They have their house completely built. They use our builders. They use our attorneys to get their resident permit. And I help them with uh, their survey, with the survey, and then their deed. So all those things that are things that we organize for everyone that's looking to connect with us, whether you travel with us on Africa for Africans tours, or you look to show up there in Ghana and then want us to uh, connect with you. The only thing we actually do is, is make sure that you're clear on all the documentation that we talk about. And as we uh, scroll down some more, what you see is the Black Star Pan African Community Plan of land, which is your survey, it says 15.82 uh, acres, and then it has the same scope and layout just like our site map. And these are all the legal stamps, signatures, and everything that you need. All right, um, as we get to the conference call topics. Uh, what we talk about is five plots of land remaining in phase one and over 200 in phase two. Phase two is 60 acres, so that's 240 uh, plots of land. And that is organized and set up in a way where residential and commercial is split apart. And also, we're just going to create as many social aspects of things as possible. Uh, so once you go to the phase one, I mean, let's break down the uh, phase one, phase two, and phase three detail that what we have. So phase one entails 60 plots on 15 acres. The residential and commercial plots on both phases are 80 feet by 100 feet for a total of 8,000 square feet per plot. We plan to use 10 remaining plots for a park, uh, which we have changed and made a community center and a business center and a security post along with the entrance. Now, phase two would include 240 plots, right? And that's about a mile away from the actual phase uh, one. Uh, so this would entail uh, 60 acres uh, for residential and business uh, projects. This would include 30 plots for farming, 120 plots for residential, 24 plots for apartment slash condos, 28 plots for on-site commercial investments, four plots for community store, four plots for medical center, Four plots for an education slash training uh, building. Four plots for maintenance facility. Eight plots for additional community and business center. More phases will be added as we progress. Also, private or public investments will be added around the community and in the town to complement us building a real black uh, power town, uh, black economics for a nation building. Right. As we scroll down some more, phase three. Vision of Black uh, Star Pan African Community. So uh, that phase will include a beach town and an industrial park. The third phase is commercial and residential. This includes industrial development, land, beach, property uh, to build a beach town. The, the industrial part will have lots of land for us to get companies who want to build small or big industries. The, uh, development projects we're talking about. This beach town vision will have resorts, shop, bars, restaurants, entertainment, water sports, physical sports, full environment of cultural and many other wonderful things. These are plans that uh, we are working towards and putting things in place to make them attainable. Black South Pan African community will run as a conglomerate so we can become a community of business investors and managers this structure allows us to build generational wealth for our families and build us more flexible or build us more flexibility on investing our own black power empire or investing in our own black power empire. 
Our goal is to build a business empire like all of the rich white corporations or corporate family brands we know today, like Marriott and so on, and just all the other popular companies. So that's what we're talking about as far as the breakdown of the three phases and the breakdown of just us building a self-sufficient community that's a business enterprise. Right. So once you're interested, uh, just reach out to me and we'll get you the application and then you can just make your reservations. And also phase two is in progress, so please read all of the getting started email and reply back with everything requested and we would add you to the list uh, for um, uh, business opportunities uh, within the Star Pan-African community. So what we're looking to do is just build a business empire. So for those of us that want to do business uh, enterprising in our community, we just do our best to give you all the support and work with you and connect with you so we can all get into business together, whether you're doing a solo business or us uh, coming together and things like that. Uh, and that's what we're doing. We're just trying to build black empire, enterprise, and black power. All right, so um, what we down to is five, building your house, the future projection and vision to complete uh, this community. So the total for the land cost of $3,000, including the $500 that I mentioned, of course. So what you have is a total of $3,500. Uh, so I got to just make sure we reword that. But on the uh, website, uh, it just shows that as two separate costs, to make it a total of $3,500. And then once you... Um, Ready for your paperwork, then that's the survey and the deed. So the survey is $350, and the deed automatically comes with that because you're paid for your land and you have your survey. So now we can put together a deed for you. And that's your paperwork you need. And then we already have the 15 acres of land, 99 year lease are laid out. All right, so we also have a memorandum of understanding for both uh, phase one and phase two uh, to also this let people know we have an agreement uh, signed and worked out. And then once you have the, the plan of land, uh, which you see down here at 60 acres, then that's where you go from there when you make enough payments to the chief to acquire these documents. All right. So the last of the things I have on here on the topics uh, is the things that we have worked out here that we're talking about, which is the land survey and also the... Uh, the land search. And getting started is one of those uh, things where on that email we have all the documents, legal documents and all the sample documents of what you need to submit. And we just ask everyone to just download everything in a folder and take your time to go through it. But uh, those are it. So this is the 60 acres land survey. It's right there, family, just like it's right there on the website. So anyone can take a look at it. Then you have the land search. And then what we have scrolling in our family is uh, supporting documents. Uh, we have, like I mentioned, we have plenty of videos. So this goes into um, the 10 committees. Now the 10 committees is where we connect together and where we all work together to f figure out what we need to do to make this community run. So I'll read down to the 10 committees. Uh, one, business and professional affairs. Two, safety, security, and surveillance. Three, education, cultural, and social affairs. Four, sustainable energy and utilities. Five, medical and wellness. Six, planning and development. Seven, maintenance and landscaping. Eight, waste management and recycling. Nine, agriculture and livestock. And ten, bylaws and homeowners affairs. Okay. So family, those are the communities we have set up where we're going to work together to get things connected. And what you're looking at, uh, what you see right here, is a video of Black Star Pan-African Community Ready for Building and Development in Jodhi. This is down in December 2020. This is when you see Leonard and Carmen right here in the back. That's when their house was not built. Now forward to December 2020 when their house was built. So like I mentioned to you, and then forward December 2019, that was their first time in Africa, first time in Ghana, first time seeing land and community, and we helped them with all those things. So that, that's the Blueprint family. So anybody that's looking to do anything, as long as you do your part, we got you because we're going to do our part and everything is already in place anyway. So anybody that it doesn't materialize to you, don't blame us for your shortcomings. We have a program in place that works. Now stick to the program and stay focused and let us help you 
and let's get this done together. So it's very, very important that everybody read through full details of everything on the website, read through all the information, um, reply back with the requested information, sign up on the required sign details, and you're good to go. And we scroll down, this is our first group picture there on the line, that's in December, that's December 29, 2019. And so the foundation that we're doing, it goes back to September 2019, when we literally just organized ourselves saying, you know what, uh, instead of dealing with uh, Garvey Town, which is a British um, black organization that claimed that they were building a community of black people in the diaspora, but I'm telling people, family, I cannot make this up. A lot of people claim and talk about black power and black organizing and building things, but when it comes to the nitty gritty of it, when it comes to doing the work and building, they fall apart. You know, they flop. And I can't put me and my business group into that energy, so we decided we're going to do what we need to do, and we're going to put our elements together, because who have more networking connections than us? So that's what we did, and that's where we are in our family, very successful to where we're just going to be building up the community and building up the next phase two and three, and within the next 10 years, you're going to see a metropolis, a business enterprise fund, and you're going to see a generational wealth for the families and the people that have invested in all of these operations. So once you uh, click on some of these links, uh, they're just giving you access to some of the pictures and videos that we have on Facebook or some of the early videos and pictures that we took of the land when we were just checking it out. So this, what we mean, we build this thing from the ground up. We literally build it from the ground up. And then uh, one of our proudest things is that's our business conference. This is a video link of um, our Ghana Repatriation Investment Conference, December 27th, 2021 at the Mickland Hotel. And if you scroll down somewhere, you see the other one, May 27th, 2021. And these are about, about over an hour and a half uh, video conference, uh, over an hour video conference that goes into details about us living, moving, networking, doing business from African diaspora to the African continent and, and supporting black-owned business. So those are the things that we support to the heaviest and the highest level. Uh, so anybody that's not, that talks about that those things are not important, you got to watch them. Because if we're going to build this together, family, those are things that we have to support. And so all of this is just documentation from these old videos and old uh, photo links. And then come up um, video, Plot 21, the first house on Black South Pan-African community in Jahadzi. And when you click on the link, that's a finished home. That's a beautiful uh, ram earth home uh, built by Lemon and Carmen, and flawless them, that's what you can build as a people. You just have to have your, you just have to be ready and organized, and don't let people deter you and distract you. And then this is me and my good brother uh, on raw land saying that, hey, we're going to build a future for our people. Uh, business conference, so we're always networking. And this is our group right here, our last Ghana tour group right here in front of Plot 21 at Lemon and Carmen House. And as we talk about this family, um, beyond us helping you get to Ghana, uh, we're there to help you get your land, your legal documents, your residency, and any kind of paperwork or anything that you need in the country, any kind of consultation, any kind of help. So that's what we also do. So the main thing I would say to, to anyone that's interested in repatriation, reach out to us. Uh, we have everything in place and everything organized, and we've been doing this for a very long time, from studying to actually doing this movement. And you scroll down, what you see is 2006 to 2021. That's all of our Ghana and other Africa tour groups that we have had over the years. And then all of our links and social links. And that's it, family. That is our newsletter that I always want to share with everyone and share the details. All right, cool. So hopefully everybody is uh, clear. And what I'm going to do is unmute or put everyone in mute mode so you can press star six to unmute yourself. All right, perfect. So family, um, that's the Black Star Pan-African community. And we have a lot to learn and lots of opportunity.
I met uh, someone that's on video he had to take himself off video. All right, there we go. All right, perfect. So, so family, anybody have any questions that's uh, on each yourself and um, with your name, where you're calling from, and your question? Akubi, uh, do you have a question? Um, hi. No, not at this time. How you doing? I'm doing all right. If you can speak up louder, please. No question at this time. I got you. Let me meet you. Your phone is unmuted. All right, so family, uh, anyone have any questions? Just uh, star six to unmute yourself and uh, give your name where you're calling from your question. Hello, everybody. This is um, Dr. Leonora Austin. Uh, Good evening, Dr. Austin. Go ahead. How are you? Uh, Doing well. Good. I do have a question um, because I'm filling out the, um, the form the uh, application form for issue renewal of residence permit. Should I wait until December? Because I have to stay there 30 days, correct? Uh, no, the best thing I recommend for everybody is fill, fill the paperwork out and submit it so they can get started. And once you get there and you, you turn in your physical passport, then they're just, uh, they've, they've already gotten so much done so now they can kind of close out. And uh, you just need to just be there for... I would say relatively about two weeks, the most, and then oh, okay. um, have it st- started. So it is a process to get it done, organized and expedited, and just get set up versus you having to be there for two months. Because sometimes we don't have two months to be in any country. We, you know, like we're working and we're doing our business. Right. That's what me and other people have to do. We have to just come up with that kind of process. So that's okay. what I'm doing people with now. Okay, excellent, because I'm thinking about changing mine to May, because I left the, um, well, I got another week to work in the system, and I told them that I can't do it anymore. So so I, I'll contact you later on that. Okay, Thank perfect. Uh, May sounds good. Absolutely. Okay. Bomani? All right, perfect. Uh, go ahead. I'll give you a name where you're calling from your question. Hi, Bomani. This is Paulisa. How are you? Uh, greetings, uh, Paulisa. I'm doing well. Wonderful. Question. From start to finish, what is the process or how long is the process? The process of what? Purchasing and paperwork and everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, perfect example. So uh, once we give you getting started emailing, you read through everything, you're going to fill out the application, submit it. You're going to fill out... Um, uh, you're going to sign basically the uh, overview, community overview on the bylaws. Uh, and in the email itself, it's going to tell you those required documents. You're going to submit um, the documents that's required as far as photos and, and legal documentation. Um, and once you do all of that, uh, the land costs and the administrative costs are 3500 Once you pay that, uh, then you clear on that. And then once you pay the $350 for your survey, that's when you get your survey and your deed. Now, once you pay for your survey, um, you literally it's going to take about a good two to three months to get your paperwork. And once we get your survey, then we'll do a deed for you. We'll assign a deed. Then, I'll, then you can sign, and then the chief will also sign. And that way, you have your legal paperwork for your land, and you can connect with one of the builders and start building. So this could roughly take anywhere from, um, I would say, anywhere from uh, two to for, uh, I would say uh, if you're ready to build, it, will, it can take anywhere from two to four months or I'll say three to six months. Okay. And what do you think the average cost of uh, maybe a three-bedroom? And if you want more land, if you don't want the houses to be so close together, what would you suggest? You would have to buy like a couple of plots and leave it for trees and if you didn't want to live so close if you needed land, if you wanted land around your home? Uh, yes, you can also um, get two plots, and I will give you some extra space and build in the middle. It's all good. We don't have a bunch of actual restrictions. Um, you know, we're just trying to get it set up to where people can uh, live in peace and enjoy themselves, but at the same time, too, 
live in a community. Uh, so that's the, uh, the, the thing of it. Is. And then for those who are not going to make phase one, the ideal thing is we have it set up to where they can make phase two. When is phase two actually starting? It started now, and you can make payments on the lots. And once we get the site map together, and you know we have the list of people who have made payments from in, in order, then those individuals get to select their residential lots. And then as far as commercial lots, once we have commercial lots available and organized on the site map, individuals can just, you know, anyone that's interested in building whatever they can uh, just build. So that's what we're working on. I'm working on the GPS coordinates for phase two. The main thing that we have is the land, the land search is clear and also the land survey is clear. So those things are done as of December. Uh, so it's just, all of this is, is a process in working because if we decide to work on this second phase five years from now, number one, the land won't be there. And if it is, the land will be a lot more expensive. So it's trying to do a bunch of things all together at one time, which is possible because we're working with the same network of people. Okay. And how far out of Accra is this? Uh, this is the hour and a half uh, to two hours. Okay. And the average cost of building? Uh, the average cost of building, you're looking at about forty to 50000 for like a three-bedroom, four-bedroom uh, house, three-bedroom, two-bathroom, uh, and things like that. So it's based on concrete cement blocks or based on if you're doing like ram earth. Uh, so those are the, the prices you're looking at, or I should say more than forty to 60000 and it's you know, based on the, the physical details of what you're looking to build. But uh, we're, in the, you know, we're further away from the capital city, so it's less stress with um, the cost of materials. Uh, so it makes it a lot more reasonable. And this phase two, is this the one that's the 45 minutes away from the beach? Oh, no, this is all, both of them are close to the beach. Uh, phase two is just a lot closer to the beach, but also phase two, we have to literally create a road that's going to take us to from our property to the beach. So when I mean you're building like uh, a community in a town from the ground up, you're building from the ground up, you're clearing land, and you're creating roads and things that never existed before. Uh, so that's the, the power of the project, is that we're going to be able to learn to be real estate developers and also organizers and just you know, learn the fundamentals of nation building. Okay. okay. And will you be able to then still be, um, 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 plant more trees around your home if they're tearing them all down? Uh, yes, uh, and the trees that's there are not like the trees that we want. What we want is a plant to make it like a vineyard. So you're going to plant your, your coconut tree, your mango tree, your guava tree, your ackee tree, banana tree. You're going to plant um, apple, pears, uh, sweet sap, sour sap. I mean, the list goes on and on. You're trying to transform the entire town into you know, somewhere where you just, it's a fresh environment. Uh, but, you know, so it took us a while to find this town, and now that we've found the town and we're connected with the chief, we're, we can do these things. Uh, and even the, the office slash house that we have there uh, to run our Black Star Pan African community, and you, when we did the video and you look at the backyard, there's nothing back there. And we understand that's what it is at this moment, uh, but that's our natural goal. Uh, as people that's more into like an organic way of life, we're going to plant all of the food and the fruit trees that we need. That's awesome. That's awesome. And the ground is not muddy or is solid or not swamp areas or anything like that? Uh, no, we're not, uh, no, it's, um, it's more so very fertile and things like that. And you're, uh, you know, you're on an incline, so that's the good thing about it. And then any issue that you have with uh, this floodedness and things like that in the rainy season, you create irrigation systems and you create uh, drainage and underground tanks and things like that. So we have the ways that we're going to just address the land and we're going to do it more in a sustainable way. Okay. Um, do you off, are they offering like panels or water system? What type of water? Uh, the water I recommend to everyone is uh, for us to do a catch water system where we build like an underground cistern and we collect rainwater and then we just have enough water for about a good six months to a year. And then we have an organized pump and cist pump and filter system that goes into your house and pump you clean water and then you have those connections on the outside also 
and that way you can manage your um, water system. And the same as we talk about uh, sustainable power, to where you just get a good solar packet system and have one of our technicians uh, install it, that way you can have sustainable power. Uh, our goal is to live off the grid, like literally completely. Right, with solar panels and all. Okay. Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay, and um, and you said um, uh, pump the water pumping to to catch the rain. Um, so example, so you have uh, when a bunch of rains on your roof, we have organized systems to channel the water into an underground tank, and the underground tank will be connected to a pump and filter system that will pump the water back into your house as clean fresh water, and it's a system that you manage, and it's better than any of the uh, the water system that we're used to in the U.S. because you're able to literally control the, your water itself. You're not getting toilet water. You're getting water fresh from the sky that you're even filtering and you're cleaning it yourself by adding relative chemicals and things like that. Hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, a lot of times yeah, it's, it's something that we're not used to thinking about because when we get a house here, you know, when we're on the grid, everything is connected and, you know, and all you have to do is go to the power company and you just, you know, the water company, the, you know, the gas company, and, uh, and so on, and things like that. So we're trying to create a way where we can be in Africa and we can just have our own independent system and live relatively free from all of these uh, utility chaos. Okay. Is there yearly, are there yearly taxes and all on your plot, your land? Uh, yes, uh, the calculation that we've been given for property taxes is like 20 to $50. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and that's our annual. Huh? And that is annual. Annual. Okay. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. You're welcome. And uh, reach out to me if you're looking to get a plot. Uh, we have a few plots available, especially for those who are looking to build a year from now. Uh, that way, you know, at least within the time, we can get all the things that need to be in place, paperwork and so on, out of the way. So okay. that's for you and anyone else that's interested in. It's on a first come, first serve basis. We have about five left. Absolutely. All and right. Thank you. Have phase two, we have plenty more, but that is going to take some time to work out at least a good year plus. Okay. That's for phase two? Yes, phase two, people can make payments on it. But as far as anyone getting access to, to clearing land and building on it and getting legal paperwork, it's going to take us, you know, a good six months to a year to get those things taken care of. Okay. So is phase one also in, I can't pronounce it, Gaz, uh, Gaz uh, yeah. Both of them are in Jaji and they're about, uh, about a mile apart. One is just closer to the beach than the other one. One is on the hill and one is just closer to the beach. And then the third phase. Closer to the beach. Uh, phase two is closer to the beach, but it's, but, and phase one is up on a hill. Uh, so phase two is, also somewhere where we have it in the area where we can, we're going to allocate commercial uh, property and things like that. So like that. Okay. It's right. why, you're, why you're trying to work on something, you're trying to build something else because you don't want to, you don't want to wait to finish one thing to the next. It's something that we're looking to do, a complete real estate development. So we're just kind of, those are like the, um, you know, the, the preliminaries that we've been working on since uh, October of 2020. And that's good that we've worked it out because it took us so long to get some of the paperwork. And that's what goes on in Ghana. But then again, people tell me when you get large sums of land, it's what it is. It takes even longer time to get things worked out and things clear. Okay. So I'm well, glad to do that because now we have it done. Okay. Well, these um, phase one and two, the, our residence, is it open for everyone and for the natives of Ga um, Ghana or just the uh, pan african uh, whoever wants to get a plot of land, uh, we have two Ghanaians in the group and we have people from other countries, um, different parts of the Caribbean, different parts uh, of America, and different parts of the world. So it's just a Pan-African project. So um, if no local people decide to join us for this, because they can get land you know, in other communities there. But we do have two people from the country that are American citizens. But, and then some of my business partners, they're going to be living on the land and working with us. Are you able, after so many years, to get dual citizenship? I think, as I remember, years ago, when we, you know, when we used to go, we were fighting for that and um, for the citizenship. I understand it's better now. 
Uh, yes, so what we have worked out is uh, once you get your residency, let's give us a few years, and we're going to push for citizenship uh, through our attorneys and uh, make it work for our group and things like that. So we're good to go on that. Uh, so that's, those are the, the full process of things that we've worked out to make sure that we can live in the country and get all the things that we need in place. Okay. I think my last question is, if you have to stay there two weeks or a month, what would be housing? What would be the best way to get housing, you know, while we're there for the wait? Uh, yes, we have a housing in Accra. But also, if you're looking to actually move and looking to do something on the property of Black South Pan African Community, we have another community that we have in partnership with called Jihadi Estate. And we have already rented our main Black Star unit from them as far as to run our business and management office. But also, we have uh, members that are acquiring property over there so they can live over there and then spend six months to a year on a lease and w go across the street and work on their, you know, work on their land in their house and things like that. So that's what we have set up uh, and what we recommend. But beyond that, we can help anyone get uh, any you know, re decent residence uh, in any part of the country, I mean, based on our connections. Okay. All right. Thank you. Absolutely, yeah, sister. And appreciate you. And, uh, send me a message or reach out to me so you know I can talk further tomorrow and we can just lock in a game plan for you. Hey, my money, I have a question. Oh, perfect. Uh, Greetings, uh, Brother Kwame. How are you? Hey, man, could be no much better. Uh, oh, absolutely. Got it with your question? I, uh, or it's a question or a recommendation. Um, my, um, I, um, I came across um, uh, what you call what, homesteading. I was Googling on uh, Amazon, uh, searching on Amazon, where I was uh, doing some research on a term called homesteading, right? That's what we call it in the, what they, what they call it in the Western world when it comes to Death sustainable home living our community. So I was wondering if I could post maybe in the comment, I mean in the comments there in the message, uh, a book that I purchased. I got the digital copy, they have the hard copy coming in the mail. But this book is uh, basically like a story of a couple uh, out of the state, and they also did one a project, a homesteading project in the state, in Maine, and also. Uh, in Canada, and they wrote a whole entire book, like 200 something pages, about their experience from beginning to end. And they give all this type of different information when it comes to self sustainable living, and that's exactly what we're doing. And I think by giving information about solar panels, water, rainwater kit system, um, how to dig, you know, how to do boreholes, how to uh, uh, do your agriculture on your plot. And this book, it really explains in depth what we're doing, but it also will give all the members that's part of this group a better idea of how to create their own paradise on their plot and how to maximize uh, that one plot of land or two two plots of land or how many other plots they get. And you can uh, actually sustain your whole lifestyle on that actual plot by maximizing it, but it takes education to do that. And I think this book is a magnificent, priceless item that we need to pick up as a group and study on. We share valuable information, but to actually see pictures and to read about different experiences and gain that knowledge and reference back to it day to day uh, and really plant that information within your subconscious mind. So when you do get over, you start to build, you will know how to beautify your property and make it self-sustainable like the whole intent is of the group. So if you don't mind, I would like to post maybe the name of the uh, book and the author, and people can get a digital copy or a hard copy. Because I find it very enlightening. The more information I know, I get more of a visual when I look at the project that we're doing, and it gives me more uh, motivation and encouragement and, 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 and a visualization of what I'm actually doing with that raw land. Absolutely, but uh, post that and share that with us. Um and that's what we have to do because what you're talking about is someone looking at, you know, you're talking about raw land and coming up with a vision and then building from it. It's, a, it's incredible. You know, like you've seen, you and I have known each other for a long time, and you've seen when we met at the, uh, uh, the, the Malcolm X uh, Festival. <laughs> that's, you know, that's, that's, that's me out there marketing. <laughs> 2000, I think it was what, 2008? Yeah, like, 
2010, 2011, so it's probably like well, 2010 or 2011. Because that was around the time my, my little boy was uh, uh, born. Uh, and, and you know, you just see, you know, we just start from somewhere. And we just connect, network, and that's, you know, I still do the same thing too. A lot of times, you know, you go out and you just network with people. And you just, you go from somewhere and you build on and build on. And say, the same thing, you talk about land. You see the raw land, you have a vision and you build on it. So share that. And then we have to just get into those concepts of literally just looking at practical examples of other people who have done what we're looking to do. And then learn from what they're doing. It's like when I talk about Garvey. You know, Garvey didn't get as far as we did, but he also laid out a foundation that we have learned from. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 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 Yeah, so if you want to talk about it more than anything, uh, go ahead and share. I'm just, uh, just happy that, you know what I mean, that you have, you know, you have, you have, you have, you have stayed a course because, you know, not many have survived this journey with us, you know, the journey of feeling that you can move to Africa and you can build in a community and you can work with your own people and build a future. I mean, it's, especially when you have been taught to, to hate and been taught to be divided and conquered by, you know, this, all these elements of things. And the fact that we are, we're, just, we're strong together as a group of 50 plus people, I'm always telling people that 50 plus black people who put their money together and acquired land and are building and are working as a group to build a future. Are you looking at the book information? Yeah, I'm typing it up right now for the post, yeah. Oh, perfect. And while you're doing that, let me know if you have any uh, questions or anything else you'd like to share, and I'll see if anybody else has anything else to share before we close out. Yeah, Bermont is, Bermont is come out. Oh. Hey, greetings, come out. Uh, greetings, brother. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, what I wanted to ask is about the building permit. What, what do you need from me, or what do I need to do to get the building permit? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, that's caught in the mix between the survey and the uh, chief. Uh, they are my partners to help everybody with that on the ground. So uh, what I can do is I can uh, communicate with uh, the chief himself and then connect with you tomorrow and see what he say as far as the new method. Because, you know, I'm always working on new methods to get things done because you already know, brother, since you've been there, some of the methods that's been in place to get things done doesn't work for us. <laughs> so uh, that's one of the ones I've fought with uh, to, you know, to where we can just have a meeting with the, the building permit uh, commission and let them know that we're going to have a lot of people building and we want to work out a method and a cost factor to get expedited building permits. Because I'm hearing that it's just not a popular thing or culture, building permit in that area. Okay. Almost nobody has building permits, but... Nevertheless, we're not going to just do ignorant stuff because it's been doing, we, we're, you know, uh, which I like about you and myself and others, we're all trying to do the right thing and be law-abiding citizens because we're going to push a culture of respecting the law and the culture of how things need to be done. So okay. Okay. that's what I promise I'll work on, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be beating upon them because we've been fighting them for about over a year now to get this bill and permit stuff organized. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, absolutely, brother. And also, my congratulations, man. The house looks good coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, you know, uh, you're another person I've known for over 10 years, man. And thank you for sticking with the program. And as you can see, you know, we're building now. And um, things are only going to get better. Yeah. Okay. I'll get Perfect, guys. So let me mute you back, my brother. All right, so family, anybody else have anything to share as we talk about uh, land on the Black Star Pan-African community and family? Once again, looking for those who are looking to build within the next year, and we have lots available. We can get your legal paperwork and all that good stuff together as soon as possible. And if you want to do something in the future and play on it, we have phase two ready to lock in. All right, so we have a caller, phone number ending in 7902. Can you give your name where you're calling from me a question? All right, so family, as we begin to wrap it up, uh, looking for anybody that have any questions and things like that. And beyond that, once again, family, all of the details for our Black Star Pan-African community can be found on our website, 
at Africa for the Africans dot org. And once you get on the website, just go to your main menu. It's right on top of your main menu. You click on the link and read through all the article details. And then once you get an idea and you feel clear, you send an email to me or just call me and request. I get and start an email, and I'll send you that email with all of the sample documentation, all of the legal documentation, and all the need to know and information for you to get started. And you just read through the email, follow it, and submit everything, and we'll get you started. And then if you need to go visit the lab before or after, that's absolutely fine. We have an office there uh, right on the property, right across from the property. And uh, Brother Zebo, which is the first vice president, is there, and he can help you. And if you're here in Georgia or you're just here in the U.S. and you just want to come by here and connect with me, you can come by. And I do full presentations here as far as Africa tourism and investment and the uh, Black Star Pan-African community answer any questions and go through anything with you. That way you can have all the facts, all the details. And nevertheless, family, again, 100% of the information is on our website. And then anything you need, we can send to you via email. And that's before you have paid any money. And then you can always, once again, always visit the land. And that's being 100% transparent. Uh, I've learned this business from the ground up, and I've seen many people before me come and falter and fail. And we're here to do it the right way and here to do it the legit way and here to make sure that everybody get what they need. And we're here to keep a tight niche, and we're here to look out for our brothers and sisters. As right, so family, uh, we're getting to that time where we're going to be closing down. I've gone to as much as I can and things like that. And the main thing I want everyone to understand is that everything is in that newsletter that's around and that's from our website to what we have emailed and what we have sent on WhatsApp. You click and read through it. It's tons of information. All right, our brother, Hi. brother Charles. Greetings, greetings, brother. How are you? Hey, not too bad, my brother. I just wanted to uh, chime in on accommodation. Sure. Because there's uh, uh, an apartment building, um, you know, um, very close by to where I was staying last year in... Um, in uh, Ghana, it's in Accra, uh, an apartment building in West Ligon. You can get a room there for about under $30 a night, just temporarily, you know, it's temporary stay until, you know, I mean, if, if, if someone wants to come in for like a week, they could stay there rather than go into a hotel. It's going to be cheaper than a hotel. And uh, the neighborhood is safe. Nakrama stayed there for two months as well. He only just got back from Ghana. And uh, if they do uh, decide to build, then they can go down to Jihad Z Estates where they can get long-term accommodation. So that's basically what I wanted to chime in and say. And another question I wanted to ask you, or I did send you a message regarding the GoFundMe, but I don't know if any of the members, are any of the members on the chat, are they able to see the BS Pack chat? Uh, there are some members and some are non-members. But, uh, yeah, you can share away as best as possible, and then you can also read it over uh, right now on, as far as the link and the location and things like that. Uh, and share away. It's all good, brother. Yeah, uh, I wanted to mention your GoFundMe. Well, naturally, you, you, you're not actually using GoFundMe at the moment. You're using um, Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Yeah, yeah, you're using Indiegogo right now at the moment. Yeah, but where we're trying to uh, where we're trying to uh, get donations to help build the community. Um, so I just want to announce your Indiegogo, and uh, I think it's also in the BS pack uh, forum too as well. Correct? Ah, uh, yes, and uh, in the Indiegogo is going to uh, be titled "Repatriation and Pan African Community." And the same yeah, thing with GoFundMe yeah. and things like that. And we're just, we're just trying to work our best to, you know, sometimes our folks don't have to click on those buttons and send donations, which is all good. They can send it to us directly also. Yeah, okay. And then I'm also running a, a GoFundMe for a school down in um, East Ligon Hills. Where I'm trying to uh, prevent this school from closing down. So I'm asking members if they could, you know, find it in their heart to, donate towards the school to prevent it from being closed down. If you are not in a position to donate, at least share the link. I'm going to post the link in the Black Star Community Forum 
So if any of you guys have access to that, you can you can see the link. And you know, if you want to donate, you can donate. Or if you can't, then you can share the link with your friends and family. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Absolutely, brother. That's a good, you know, honorable cause and everything. And family, that's what we do, family. Uh, in, in that wonderful country, Ghana, we have done a lot of this, you know, honorable things, you know, a lot of um, campaigns uh, to help children, help families, and just to support the country. And, um, you know, we couldn't do it without the help of our brothers and sisters here. So we have a nice uh, bridge that we have connecting. And then, you know, once we get more of our people doing the content to focus on us connecting, we're good to go. I have another person line is open. All right, so family, at star six, then meet yourself um, as you're closing. So 7902, your line is open. Do you have a question? And also, Charles, do you have another question or anything you'd like to share? Else? What's that, Bamani? Yes, sir, do you have anything else you'd like to share? I'm just closing things down. No, 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 no. I don't have anything else to share, really, no. All right, cool, perfect, man. So, brother, appreciate your energy, man. And uh, we're going to do this, man. We're going to build this wonderful community, and we're going to get these lots sold, and we're going to build a black empire and enterprise for us as people and be able to just do and, and live that life. And, you know, so, and for those who, you know, still want to wait around before they jump in, that's fine. Wait. Uh, one thing about us, we always got updates, so wait and process the updates and things like that. And we're just going to keep on connecting with more and more. Right. And let's see if there's anyone else that would like to chime in or like to add something else. Right, so, yes, family, that's what we have, the Black Star Pan-African community. And we have 15 plus 60 acres of land for us to build a black empire. All right, so everyone, I'm going to unmute everyone. Appreciate you, family, and everyone. All right, so family, appreciate everybody. I unmuted everyone. Take care. Thank you for joining the call. And anyone who literally looking to live, do business, move to Ghana, and you're serious about everything, and you want to this, you have an organized game plan or you want to call me to, for me to help you with an organized game plan, reach out to me and let me uh, assist you in making this happen. That's what I specialize in, and that's what I'm waiting for. So, family, everyone, good night. You take care of yourself, and uh, we will keep in touch. Thank you. Good night. Nice. I really appreciate your energy, and everyone, you take care of yourself.